Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to another vlog. We are going to do kind of like a prep before we have visitors vlog. This is like the biggest weekend here in Austin. I mean, aside from ACL, but it is F1 weekend and it's also the weekend that UT plays UGA, which is like such a big game because UT just entered the SEC. Um, and if you guys didn't know, my boyfriend went to UGA. So we are having visitors that also went to UGA and I don't think they're going to the game, but we're just gonna like go to the bars, tailgate, not exactly sure the plan. I'll definitely vlog it for TikTok for sure. But I wanted to just kind of do like an at home prep vlog. I have a good amount of work to do, but I want to prioritize like getting the house ready and just like things ready for our visitors because I know at the last minute I'm gonna be so stressed out even though I shouldn't be I'm just like this unfortunately I'm very type A I really wanted to get my toes done but I feel like I shouldn't prioritize that it is officially fall here in Austin it literally dropped like I don't know like 40 or 30 degrees overnight it was actually so cold this morning and I was in an area downtown where it was so windy so I was freezing I feel like anytime it starts getting cooler I just like can't remember what it felt like to be so cold but I literally just got um, a delivery from the Olive and June girls. When I tell you, I was actually coming downstairs to like film me putting on press-ons. They set up a time to come to deliver something, but I had no idea what I was gonna be. I kind of thought it was just gonna be like nail polish or something. They have a new collab with Domino's. And so number one, they brought over Domino's pizza, which is perfect because Ryan really wanted to get food out. And I was like, no, no, we have groceries. But now obviously we have to eat the pizza, darn. And this is kind of perfect because they are red French nails and I kind of wanted to do like a red nail this weekend um, because of the game. And not that I'm like a big football gal, but I just thought it'd be fun to do a little something. And I wanted to show you guys like a tutorial on how to do press-ons because I talk about it all the time on my TikTok. So this was literally perfect. It was planned in a way, but I now get to show you these cool little press-ons. When I was a child, I used to bite my nails so, so much and it was horrible. And then I started putting nail polish and like started getting my nails done. And I was like, okay, like it's more important to have pretty nails than like bite my nails. But sometimes I go back into a dark place. And so I bit my nails last night. And that is why press-ons save me. If I don't have my nails done, like it is tempting. I don't know why, I literally have no idea. The first step to putting on press-ons is to find your shape and to be honest this is probably the most time consuming part of it but like once you get the hang of it it kind of goes pretty fast i think i consistently started doing press-ons a year ago and honestly one of the main reasons i started was because i was always so disappointed when i went to the nail salon because they wouldn't like paint all the way up into the cuticle which now i know is apparently for health reasons but then my manicure looks grown out after literally two days or even one day and that's not great so when i do press-ons i kind of like i'll show you guys i like stick it back into my cuticle so that it doesn't look grown out and you can literally have these nails on for like two weeks and it looks brand new especially when i was starting to do press-ons i would have some that would like pop off like maybe one or two within the first two days i would just glue it right back on and it would be good to go so if you are a beginner to press-ons i would highly recommend to keep some glue on you at all times just pop it in your bag because it is the most vulnerable feeling when a press-on comes flying off. I've had that happen a couple times at the gym and I just feel so embarrassed because then I have to like go pick it up without anyone seeing and it's just very embarrassing. So just make sure you have that glue on you at all times. Now the reason why I like press-ons is because I can like have these cool designs and do funky colors that I maybe usually wouldn't and if i absolutely hate it i can take it off within a couple days and i don't feel bad because they are so affordable like i probably saved over a thousand dollars at least doing press-ons getting your nails done just started getting so expensive and i was just not here for it anymore so that's why i kind of started doing press-ons and i really haven't looked back i've definitely seen those russian manicures which look tempting but i also don't want to try that and like love it so much because those are like i think starting prices probably like 120 and so that's just like a lot of money just for nails um i mean it's probably worth it i've heard so many people say it's so worth it like it's gorgeous 
but for now I'm gonna stick to my press-ons because I can also do it on my own time I feel like if you get the Russian manicures you have to make an appointment and I just don't really like that another tip is to keep all of the leftover press-ons because even if they don't fit your nail beds and you lose one and you literally can't find it to put it back on, you can take one of these and like file it down to match your nail beds. Ever since using this specific glue, they have stayed on so much longer and I like it better because it is a brush on glue. Sometimes it's like so hard to squeeze these little tubes, but these are great to like put in your purse. And I really do like Olive and June glue. I wonder if they have brush on glue. They have to, but I have not seen it. I've just heard so much about this glamnetic glue and I really like it. So we are gonna start on the ends. So we're gonna start with the pinkies and I'm gonna zoom you guys in. You're gonna take the press on and put a little glue on this and then you're gonna put a little glue on your real nail. You don't wanna put too much glue because it's gonna spill over the sides, but you also wanna put enough so that there's no air bubbles in it because especially when you have this like kind of transparent base, it's easy to see those air bubbles. So just make sure you're putting enough glue and not being super stingy with it. But I'm just going to press it down pretty hard for about 30 seconds and really make sure you're like, I don't wanna say jamming it up your cuticle, but like push it back into your cuticle because I swear that is what makes my manicure look fresh after one and a half weeks because when it grows out then the nail just kind of comes with it which again sounds kind of gross but this is just how i do it hey siri text rye willis come down i have pizza for you Domino's. sending to rye willis okay so you're going to take the nail and then start with it at an angle and then push it back into your cuticle lay it down and then just press really hard Look how cute and perfect. Nails are done. There's a cutie little pizza heart on my nails. Last step is to just like file off the tops because they have these little tabs that just need a little bit of filing. And then you just put on hand lotion and you're done. And you have a perfect manicure. Like if there's one thing that you get from my page, just please save yourself some money and start doing press-ons. Your wishes came true. <laughs> that you wanted food from outside. Cheesy. Yummy. Sophie's licking her lips. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> What's going on? Look, my pizza nails. All of June did a collab. Mm. And they're oh. kind of perfect for because I wanted red nails for this weekend. <laughs> I've enlisted Ryan for some help. We're gonna hang out my hat racks. It's funny because I was talking about my priorities for today and I love how this is one of them, but honestly, all my hats are on the ground, so maybe it is a priority to have a clean closet. Um, I think up and down. Like, or, yeah, on top of each other. Back? Yeah, I think so. How high do you want it here? Mm, maybe lower. Gracias. Mm -hmm. It's going to be perfect and now I can finally have some clear walking space let's put all of my hats up some of like my wide brim hats are up there but this will probably just be for like my trucker hats you guys it looks so good it's so funny because like now i'm realizing literally like half of my hats say like texas austin texas and there's like a ut one down here I'm really just a Texas girl. I don't know how that happened. Five years later, I definitely have quite the collection. You can't really see like the wooden racks, which is good and bad because I feel like they're really cute. But I'll have this linked on my Amazon storefront and I'll put the direct link in the description. All right, we gotta do some laundry to get this started. We have like three loads of laundry and my goal is to get it put away all today because I feel like anytime I do laundry, it's like three days worth of like doing the laundry waiting to put it away and then actually putting it away. I learned this little hack that changed my life. If you use these containers, you know that sometimes this is just really slow to come out. But if you unscrew this just a little bit, it comes out so much faster and it's a lot less frustrating. 
I usually put a timer on my phone so that I can like stay on top of the loads because sometimes I don't really hear this thing ding. Right now I'm gonna do a lot of editing on my phone, just like random TikToks for my photo account and my personal account. So I think I'm gonna cozy up in bed and just like knock it out. It's almost 7.30 and I still haven't cooked dinner, but I have been wanting to make some udon noodles at home. I had the absolute best udon noodles in H Mart, but H Mart is like in Lakeway or Lake Line. It's kind of far. It's like a 35 minute drive. So we haven't been back since, but I thought I could try to make it at home. So I saw this pack of noodles, I think at HEB. To make it super simple, I bought some frozen vegetables and then I just need to cook up chicken and then we got dinner. So wish me luck. I'll probably just do a cooking montage because this is just so loud back here. So let's do it. Here's what it looks like. Delicious. Mm -hmm. No, it's a large chestnut. Mm -hmm. Did it again, huh? Mm -hmm. I feel like it could even be a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Mm -hmm. I might I might add some chili flakes, but it's pretty good. I honestly thought it was easier than or I thought it was gonna be harder than it was. So, what do you think? This morning was such a good workout. I do a lot of classes at Lifetime and I actually pushed myself a lot harder today. And I'm really trying to just go like heavier with the weights. Today's class was apparently like a berries class. I've never taken berries before, but you go back and forth between treadmill and the floor. I didn't get any footage of the floor because I felt like too embarrassed to do that, but behind the treadmill, I was like hiding my phone filming that. Um, but it's just like interval, like sprints kind of. And this time I tried to go a little higher on the incline. That's what my friend suggested to just like challenge yourself a little bit more because we were thinking like, do we have a max of like, how fast we can actually run without literally breaking our knees off because sometimes I feel like my knees are just not stable enough for how fast I'm going. So that's why she suggested that. So I tried that out today and just went heavier on, especially the shoulders. I really am trying to tone up my arms. I've been doing these workouts since January and I'm just not super happy with my arms. I feel like they should be way more toned than they are right now. So I think I just need to like push myself a little bit more. We're getting ready for the day. I need to like blow out my hair just to have it nice for this weekend. I'm probably gonna work out tomorrow morning, but we have the visitors coming tonight or like two people are coming tonight, two people are coming tomorrow. So I'm a little nervous because I don't wanna wake them up tomorrow going downstairs because they might sleep in the loft that's like open in our house. And when I wake up, Sophie wakes up and I don't want her annoying them. So we are gonna see where they choose to sleep tonight and decide tomorrow morning but in all aspects I'm kind of just like getting back into YouTube I'm watching a lot more YouTube I'm honestly trying to train my attention span I honestly can't believe it has even come to this but I just watch so much TikTok and I try to justify it because it's my job even with photography I need to be updating my social on there um so I'm always on TikTok or Instagram and it's just like so much like so much content that I'm consuming every single day and I looked at my screen time for the first time literally ever I think it was horrible I don't even want to talk about it um but I am like trying to train myself and like watch longer form content so I've been watching a good amount of YouTube recently and we also started Monsters on Netflix which is very interesting and horrible but like really really good like these actors are insane the episode that we watched last night I think it was like a 30 minute episode but like majority of the episode i swear it was like one take of the guy just like talking and being really emotional i think it was eric how he was like describing what had happened and i was like holy crap like there was no cuts in that scene like how do people memorize lines like that back to youtube it's funny because when i was in high school no not high school college some youtubers that i watched started getting pregnant and then i would just like totally kind of stop watching them like I wouldn't unfollow them necessarily but I just like would not click on their videos because I was very not interested in like the mom content and everything. I watched JC for so long and she recently got pregnant and then also Rachel Ottenreath which used to be Rachel Ratke. I love her videos they're very calming 
And it's so weird because like I've actually been like clicking on their videos and like Rachel actually talks a bit about mom life and it doesn't fully turn me off. It's just weird because it's like, wow, am I maturing right now? It just feels so much closer, but obviously it's not like I'm not even engaged or anything. I guess it just doesn't seem so out of reach. Like my friends are probably gonna get pregnant one of these days. It's just crazy how like some content that you never could relate to starts not relating to you because I'm again, not pregnant, but <laughs> you get what I mean. Like you're not fully checked out, I guess. I've been getting really fun makeup PR recently and I got some stuff from One Size and this foundation, I have gotten so many freaking compliments on and switching between like a couple of foundations, but this one, oh my goodness, this is the One Size Turn Up The Base Full Beat Liquid Foundation. I highly recommend it. It is like a soft matte finish, which I feel like I haven't used in a really long time, so maybe that's why I'm like loving it, but it just gives that like really nice full coverage beat to your face, but it also doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. It lasts all day, and I saw a TikTok recently saying if you don't like your makeup, you're not wearing enough makeup or something like that. And yesterday, I like kind of half-assed my foundation, and I like hated my makeup. I was supposed to film yesterday, and I was like, I cannot because... I do not feel my best and I feel like I do not look my best. So today we're going full B because I want to do some filming today, but I'm gonna get back to watching my YouTube videos and then we will make a montage. is done now it is time to move on to the hair and i recently just restocked on my favorite blow dry spray this is the kenra blow dry spray i have no idea where i like found out about this because i think i used this in college or like right after post-grad but anyways i used it so long ago i got the little bottle and just used it up and it was really good but Honestly, it is very pricey. <laughs> I didn't get it for a while, but I went to Ulta for the first time in literally like five years because basically when I went to UCF for college, we had a place called Waterford Lakes, which was like 15 minutes away from the school and it had everything you could need. Like it was actually so dangerous. It was a strip mall, but it was giant. And like my senior year, they got a Sephora. They always had an Ulta Best Buy. They had a Forever 21 there. It was like actually pretty much a mall so me and my friends would literally just go to ulta for fun sometimes and i hadn't been since then now living in austin i just feel like the ultas are not very convenient or like i don't really go to the mall but also it's not really near the mall i don't think either way i haven't really like passed by an ulta and like thought to myself wow i need to stop in but i finally did and i saw this so i was like okay i gotta pick it up because i really liked it so we're gonna just a nice spray honestly the best part about this is the smell i don't know why but it just like smells like a sweet salon smell <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but i really like the smell it's like very niche and unique but i like it i've always lost a ton of hair like i always shed but recently i've been losing a lot of hair in the shower and so I try not to wash my hair a ton because I know I'm just gonna like lose more hair. Yesterday, I literally saw in my medicine cabinet that I had Nutrafol because I think Amazon gifted it to me. But anyways, I hadn't used it. And so I popped that sucker open and I think I'm gonna try to be really consistent. It says take four pills a day, which is nuts. I never understand that. Like, why can't you just make one, one giant pill or like the serving size in just like one pill? I don't really understand it. It's 2024, how can you? not make it like smaller but anyways i think i'm gonna try to be consistent the worst part about it is that like you have to take it every single day for it to work and see results and it takes a while to see results but the bottle is only like a one month supply and i've heard it's pretty pricey so i'm like <sighs> i don't know if you guys have tried neutral or any hair growth supplement that actually works like please let me know
do this, but I do want to brush out my curls just because I wanted a little bit more of like a blowout look instead of like super curled. Usually I just like wait for them to fall on its own. But I think I'm going to try to film sooner than these will drop. So, okay, that looks good. This has been my most used hair tool like since May, I feel like. It's the Bondi Boost Air Styler and like it is $188 and I swear it works even better than the Dyson. I don't really know like how and why. I wish it came with like bigger barrels, like thicker barrels to get that like really nice blowout look, but it is so powerful and amazing. So if you are still like wanting the Dyson Airwrap, I highly recommend to get this because this is $188 and I think the Dyson is like $600. And again, it like works better. And it comes with a bunch of attachments. I like rough dried my hair with this one. So many people on TikTok say that they put hair oil in their hair and their hair always looks so amazing. So I kind of want to do that, but I also don't want to get it too greasy because I always feel like I have a really heavy hand with that kind of stuff. And I just wash my hair. So maybe I'll try it tomorrow or like I'll go to sleep with some hair oil in my hair. But I'm going to try to just make my hair last all weekend. Just like keep it really fresh. I kind of look like strawberry shortcake in this outfit, but... Honestly, all of it's Amazon. I want to do an Amazon haul on my Instagram stories today. While I was getting ready, I got a very exciting delivery. It is actually massive. I decided to get a new coffee table. We've had this coffee table for like since our first apartment here in Austin and we got it on Facebook Marketplace. I know so many people ask me where it's from, but I remember asking the seller and they said it was custom made. It's gorgeous, but I just want to go for a new vibe. And I think we're going to put this coffee table upstairs in the loft where it's like the movie room. I don't know if I've showed you guys that yet, but we like mounted a projector in the loft and so it's really cool up there. Um, we're probably just going to move that up there, but I don't know about today because since we have visitors, we're gonna pull out the pull-out couch in the loft for them to sleep. So I don't know if there's room for the coffee table to be put up there right now. So we might have to wait on that. We'll probably move into like the dining room for now, but let's unbox the new table. It was massive. Mm -hmm. I don't think my little box cutter is gonna do much. Two pieces. Access to the food we leave on the coffee table. Is that exciting? Here's what it looks like. It's massive, but I think when we add a rug, it's gonna look so good. Ryan just said there's a lot of different woods in here, and I agree with him. <laughs> but maybe adding the rug will help kind of separate it all. What do we think? Let me show you guys a close up on the wood. It's this dark brown wood, and it has this kind of like puzzle detail, which is kind of cool. I wanted to try putting dates in my smoothies, so I finally got this when I was at Trader Joe's yesterday. And I think we're just gonna do a pretty basic smoothie to kind of see how it tastes. How the heck do I get this open? We're gonna start with a banana, do some blueberries, some strawberries. I think I'm gonna put like one or two dates, and these are already pitted, so I'm just gonna plop them in. Lastly, some lactose free milk. Definitely a little runnier than I thought it would be, but I think that's fine. I changed my mind. I want it to be a little bit like crunchy almost with the ice. Taste test. The flavor is good, but I think I should have blended it a little bit more. I feel like little bitty parts of the medjool dates, but honestly, I don't mind it. I feel like some people hate textures or they're very like particular about the texture of foods that they eat. I actually prefer foods to have texture. Like I like to like chew things. Anytime I get a Smoothie King smoothie, it's like just the perfect amount of icy where you like feel like you can chew it a little bit. I signed with a management. This is like a trial period until the end of the year. I've never signed with management exclusively. Um, I've done, you know, a couple months at a time non-exclusively and it never really worked out. So I wanted to try doing it just exclusively. That means that they get a cut of pretty much everything you make from brand deals. Whether that is inbound to my email, I have to like send it to my manager 
and she gets a cut, but a manager's job is to pitch you two brands to work with them, their contacts, their clients, and um, just brands in general so that I can get brand deals that way and then they also get a cut of that. We have a bi-weekly call and we just like to go over everything like partnerships wise and just strategy, especially like leading up to the holidays. I feel like people are already posting gift guides and it's making me so anxious because I'm like, holy crap, like it's just flying by. So I do want to start planning for that, but I'm gonna bring this upstairs and get my computer ready. Hello. Hi. I made an appointment at the recycling center this morning to bring this there, but Ryan's saying that it might not fit in his car. So we'll see. One thing about Ryan, he always has a solution, huh? Try. Right. See if it holds on. It's just a short drive, so let's go. Right, yes, I changed like a hundred times a day. I filmed like an Amazon try and haul for my TikTok and Instagram stories, but now we're getting back to prepping for guests. We're bleaching all the toilets, not bleaching them, but you know, cleaning them with bleach because I feel like it just is more efficient that way. Still working on the laundry. We need to start putting them away soon, but all the loads are done. And we just put some sheets in the wash. So we have to make up all the beds. So just a few more things. And I feel like everything will be ready. Notice that the soap was low. Does anybody else refill these Aesop bottles with non-Aesop soap? This smells honestly like equally as good and it was way cheaper than the Aesop refill. I just got it off Target. It's lemon mint scented. And I'm just gonna refill. I always thought these Aesop bottles were glass, but they're plastic. So yes, they smell really good, but like this is me de-influencing you because they're just like so expensive for what they are. I mean, I guess if you like just buy the bottle or just buy like, you know, one soap and then you refill it with cheaper soap just to like be aesthetic, then like maybe that's worth it. But at the end of the day, $40 soap is like, I think it's $40. I, I'm not really sure what the price is. E even just like anything over $10. Why did I ever do that? Please. But it is a really good gift. And I did um, get one of my Aesop soaps as a gift. Cause that's like something you wouldn't really buy yourself, but it is bougie and I love receiving like cute little bougie gifts like that. It looks like we don't live here now, which is amazing, honestly. Look how clean the bathroom is. I guess we don't use this bathroom all that much. I just lost a press on, which is really sad because I don't really know where it went. So I'm gonna be on the hunt for that, but I did save some press on. So hopefully I find one that is good enough. Getting a new light bulb was on my to-do list forever and I did buy light bulbs, but it wasn't the right size. So since I don't come in here often, I didn't remember to do that so it looks a little funky but it's gonna be okay here's my office it looks pristine i literally just had like clothes laying everywhere so this is just a beautiful sight to see we're probably gonna move that desk out of the way and then put a like mattress here we have like a foldable mattress but i think they're bringing an air mattress too so they can kind of decide what they're feeling 